If you told me that we'd be 10 and 10 uh, at the start of the season, I would have thought you were crazy. And they take down CLG and get first win is even get into a position to fight back right now. Last five for CLG have been losses. Clearly, I'm not happy with with uh, where we're at right now. 10 and 10 is like unacceptable to me. After a really big streak of losses and you know, you have thousands of people hammering down on you. It actually plays with your head. We try to be positive, but it's really hard to be positive and have like a good outlook on things when you've been losing so much. You know, everyone, essentially, when you go online and you're, and you're part of CLG, you read all this hate and you read all these like horrible comments about how you're terrible. No matter how much like tough skin you have, uh, eventually like the community will kind of get to you. Maybe you'll start to doubt yourself and hesitate. I know Hotshot has a problem with that because he reads Reddit, but I hate Reddit. Screw that. I don't, I don't really care what people say about me. I just focus on myself getting better. It honestly played with my head. I thought I needed to play a threat. I really need to do this. But my team backed me up and they kept reassuring me like, no, play this way. And so it's frustrating when the community is like, hot shot, hot shot, hot shot, hot shot. The team constantly reinforces like, you shouldn't think about what other people say. They actually don't know what they're saying, by the way, because we know better as a team. And I think he just needs to stop caring what the community thinks and just focus on being a better player. And then my team's like, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. So it goes back and forth and I'm just like, <laughs> we always tell him that just don't listen to what the community says because it's not true. Even even Chaucer recently, he's he's actually been doubting himself because he's like maybe I should have like initiated in, during that one game. And but the thing is, our problems stem from a team. It's not from individual play, and that's like the most important thing that everyone on the team has to realize. What matters is you keep it consistent and you play what you're strong at. Don't play what you're not good at because then teams will just take advantage of that. We already know what works as a team, but at the same time, we're focused on like, we're, we're trying too hard to try new things and try, trying to be like other people who are not. So it needs to like find our identity and then try to find like slower ways of improving. Now we're, we're kind of going back to our roots. We're figuring out what works for us and um, we like it so far. CLG looking for vengeance and they found it against Curse, bringing themselves another victory here. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Yeah, man. Congratulations to CLG. They even it up. Come tournament time, teams are going to have to be really, really prepared to beat us. The most important thing is not to get too down on ourselves. Uh, the rest of the season, I have no expectations, but I really hope we 8-0. You know, it's really disheartening to see, like, all these posts. I used to be a CLG fan. Oh, I was a fan until I saw this or heard this. It's just, you know, I want us to keep our fans, and I want to make them proud.